Early Sunday, a group of men tried without success to redirect the flow of lava coming from Congo's Mount Nairagongo. The government there announced an evacuation plan, but it came hours after the sky turned red and thousands had already fled. The Goma Volcanology Observatory had warned days earlier of increased seismic activity. By morning, evacuees began the long journey home to find what was left of their homes after Nairagongo's first eruption in almost two decades. Area resident Masika Muguiko says the hardship continues. We have suffered too much. We walked about 15 kilometers and now we have just walked back. When we arrived, our houses were burned or destroyed and everything was stolen. Nearly two million people live within range of Nairagongo in the city of Goma. Officials in neighboring Rwanda say more than 8,000 Congolese people fled across the border to escape the lava flows. Now, as they return to Congo, only uncertainty awaits. Now I don't know where to go. I'm only walking in the street, and we are afraid because the fire is still visible in the lava. Meanwhile, reports said Congolese President Felix Tshisekedi was cutting short a trip to Europe and returning home to help coordinate relief efforts. This was Mount Nairagongo's third major eruption since 1977. The city of Goma near the mountain's base is Eastern Congo's hub of trade and transport, humanitarian aid and a base for a UN peacekeeping mission called MONUSCO. Local officials say only a handful of people died and blamed the deaths on accidents during evacuation. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.